Thank you all for coming to help celebrate this wonderful woman. I have always wanted to have a sister, and now my dream has come true. I love you, Abishola. <laughs> you don't have to say it back. <laughs> Kemi, your turn. Yeah, Abishola knows what I think of her. I do. OK, then. Mom? I already talked at the not wedding. I guess you'll make your next toast at my wedding. <laughs> sure. Uh, Auntie Ebonolua, Auntie Olu? I'm not sure I'm allowed to speak. Perhaps you do not have much to say. Oh, I have plenty of things to say. I, I will speak. <laughs> Christina, thank you for putting all of this together. Oh, I love you, Abishola. Again, you don't have to say it back. <laughs> Mommy, thank you for everything you have done for me. I appreciate your support even when I make what you call stupid decisions. <laughs> and Auntie, if not for you, I would never have opened the door and let Bob into my life. I still can't believe that you and Uncle followed him <laughs> and sat outside his house all night. Oh. <laughs> we had to make sure he was not a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> All of this would have been impossible without you. You are like the daughter I never had. Because she is my daughter that I had. <laughs> you are both very important to me now. But I am more important. Buckle up, ladies. I was the one who took care of her when her husband abandoned her. I was there for the first 20 years of her life. And I am there for her now. I was the one who pushed her out of my body. And I was the one who fed her goat's milk because your breasts were dry. <laughs> if my breasts are dry, your womb is a desert. It's nice not being the embarrassing family for once. <laughs> right? You are always jealous of me.